Well, hey there everybody. Welcome upstairs to the studio where we keep that uh, satin dollar in its seclusion. I thought today we'd finally take a look at it and uh, I'd show you just how this thing is doing. It is absolutely amazing how huge this thing has gotten and the number of fruit that it is starting to produce. I can't wait to start seeing some orange and some genuine color on these peppers. But until then, I certainly can tell that there's uh, a lot of them on the way. Let's take a look at the plant itself. So, yeah, this thing is pretty massive. I, I can't believe it's all growing out of that one pot. Forgive the mess on the floor there. Probably should have cleaned up beforehand, but hey, I'm keeping it real, right? There are, I, I can't even count how many little tiny pepper starts on this thing. I am so glad I brought it in from last season. Because it hadn't produced a single pepper for me. But apparently now, it has decided to make good and, and change that. Climbing all the way up the wall, change angles here, and it almost reaches the ceiling. Uh, I've had to support it in a few places with these little, I don't know, I call them teacup hooks. They probably have a proper name, but I like teacup hooks. And yeah, that is crazy. I think what this shop light has going for it, because it's not the right spectrum, is just the intensity of light that it's throwing out. These two little LED bulbs, I'll call them, are pulling a whopping 76 watts total. And it's all kind of blasting down on this plant. So, while in theory it shouldn't have grown at all under the shop light, it definitely is. Would I use it for a basement light replacement? No, I don't think so. But, I'll be keeping it going up here for this guy for <laughs> however long it wants to live for. Good thing it's an LED light. 25 years or so, we'll see how about that. And I've heard you can get up to 5 years from a chili plant. So with this here sand dollar, I guess we're going to just try and find out. Because, this is crazy. This is just over a year old now. I planted it for last season, pulled it out last fall. So, yeah, maybe 15 months? I don't know. Someone can perhaps go back and check, but call it a year and a half just to be uber fair. And it's huge. Can't imagine what it's going to be like after five years if I can keep it alive that long. One of the great things about this whole situation too is because this pepper is all by itself there's no way it's crossing with that little tiny lemon tree or that little tiny coffee tree these seeds should be reliable should grow true I mean there's a certain amount of random in the peppers it's producing but they're all pretty uniform for the most part so Huzzah! I know so many people have asked me for seeds for this over the years. Um, because I had the other ones growing before too. And I didn't want to give any out because I really didn't have any. And this was the very last one that I had. But, from the looks of things, once we start seeing some of these ripen up, if you wanted seeds from this and you're in the general North America, relatively simple mailing sort of distance um, just let me know and uh, we can probably work something out because I am not going to need that many seeds by any means so how's that for a quick look at that little sand dollar pepper a eh? little no more holy crow I was so worried that I had killed this thing when I transplanted it I was worried that I had killed it when I pruned it and yet it still lives on so that to me is really really quite exciting now if I could do that with a super hot pepper I'd be a happy bear. All right, everybody, I'm going to wrap it up there. This is a super quick video, but there's only so much you can say about a single plant, right? All right, yeah, yeah. I will see you guys in the next next video. I think this is 8 of 30, and I have got some serious catch-up and crunching to do. So, yeah, we'll see what comes of that.